Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, my name is Norman Meir and I am an IPC Master Instructor. For this video for the month, what we will be doing is prepping through hole components for installation with lead free solder. What you see in front of you currently is two of the types of components that are used a lot in the industry. One here, the resistor is an axial leaded component. The reason why they call it axial is because the component body is in the center and you got legs that come out on both sides. The other component which is a capacitor, it has no polarity but it is considered a radial leaded component and it has the body on the top and the legs come out on one side. You want to pre-tin your parts in lieu of a solderability test. I like to pre-tin my parts for the fact is that I can guarantee that they're solderable at the beginning of the soldering process. And if they're not, what you might want to do is clean up the leads. You might use a non-abrasive uh, oil-free eraser to clean the legs off with, uh, alcohol or something to clean the legs so they're easy to solder to. Okay. Well, the tip that we're going to be using is a large hoof tip. You can also use a solder pot to pre-tin them. That's the quick and easiest way. But if you don't have a solder pot, what I use is the one like this. this is called a large hoof tip. If you notice again, it's at a 30 degree angle. What we'll be using is a lead-free solder today, which is a Next sack thing I'm solder. I'm going to use is a no-clean flux, and I want to put it on the lead itself, just like so. Next thing I'm going to be doing is grabbing my lead-free solder and cleaning it up really nice. And I'm going to create a large ball of solder on the end of my tip where it's almost dripping off. And it's hard to tell in here but there is a ball of solder right there and it's almost ready to drip off. And What you want to do is you come down on the component body or not component body but the lead itself Hesitate and then slowly. Do, there's two down. different ways to do this. One is with a pair of pliers, needle nose, and the other is with a Christmas tree. That's what they refer to this as. And you're going to determine what you want to do is when you use it is to lay it in the center, just like so. And you got notches. You got a valley here in the middle, I call it. Then you got notches on both sides. And what you want to do is these sides on both sides here, you want it to be centered in the hole. In other words, cut the hole in half. So we know 0.5 is the one that we want to work with. We want to put our component body in the center of that. This is a quick and easy way to do it. Okay, just like so. Now what you're going to do is firmly hold your part into place, just like this and then what you're going to do is keeping the orange wood stick against the plastic here and just bend it 90 degrees down towards the board area just like so. Okay, you've got one side turn it over something like this again keeping that orange wood stick right up against that plastic because if not it goes to a lazy bend is what I refer to it. So keeping it tight just bring it on over. Got that just just like let so. it fall out and what you will do is verify that it fits in the hole and slides easily. And see how easy that slides in and out? Very And it's simple. going to fit nice and flat against the board and there's no strain there. If you notice I can move it a little bit, get a little bit of play in there. That will actually help you if you ever have to replace it. And then the next thing I would be doing after this is cleaning my board and installing it. Thank you for your time and have a good day.